Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today it's all about spooktacular treats. You're gonna love these. The little treats bundle is part of our holiday mini catalog. I'm gonna show you how super simple this is to make little treat holders. Treat holders for candy, treat holders for gift cards, Christmas, any type of party favor, Halloween, you're gonna love these because they're super easy. Let's flip the camera around and get started. Let me introduce you to the little treats bundle. This is such a cute little bundle. We've got all of these little sentiments and some little images in here to make your treat or party favors amazingly cute. Now, the little treat box dies are a lot of fun. This cuts out a little box. I'm gonna show you how simple that is. And also all of these adorable little elements and tag dies to go with the images or sentiments in the stamp set. And we're gonna be using the Magic in This Night designer series paper. This is originally designed for Halloween, but as you can see, there are a lot of neutral patterns in here that have nothing to do with Halloween, and I love this color combination. We've got Basic Black, Blackberry Bliss, Cajun Craze, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White for some beautiful fall colored paper. And before I forget, this paper is on sale this month only, the month of October. You can get a pack of this, I think, for $9.78. 12 by 12, you get two sheets of each design. I am going to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And the first thing I decided to do is to cut one of the little treat boxes out of this very pretty paper. Now, because our theme today for the Creative Inking Blog Hop is spooktacular treats, we're gonna be making some Halloween treats but you'll easily be able to see how this can be used for any type of occasion. I'm going to grab the treat box die and I'm just gonna put it right, let's see, right on my designer series paper. It's gonna crackle, it's gonna pop. Don't worry about that. Don't let that scare you when you're using a die. As long as you're rolling through okay and you don't meet any resistance, you're in good shape. Look at how easy that is. It just pops right out of there. Crazy, right? Now we've got a floral side and a spooky bat side. Either one will work perfectly for this little box. And as long as we're die cutting here, I'm also going to be showing you another little treat favor using the same box. So we're gonna die cut this out of Rich Razzleberry cardstock. And then we'll be ready with both of them. Oops, do you guys see what I did wrong? I don't have my other plate under here. You need two clear cutting plates. That was an amateur mistake. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we all do it, right? Here we go. Again, crackling, popping. Boy, it's making a fuss, isn't it? Again, don't let that scare you. So now we've got a rich Razzleberry box here. And then... We're gonna need a few little elements. So I've got some scraps here. I've got a basic black scrap. And in the little set of dies that comes with this, these little images are so cute. I absolutely love them. We're going to do a spider. We're gonna do a few spiders. It's got this little stitched scallop circle in it that fits most of the sentiments perfectly. And then we're gonna do just a touch of stamping before we die cut a tag. So I've got my Memento ink here and the stamp that says happy, happy, 
Halloween. And I'm gonna grab this little tag right here. So we've got, we've, whoops, this is a tag, this is a tag. We've got a Santa hat, a present, some little ornaments, some more little ornaments, and a ring. This is perfect for like bridal showers or a little wedding gift. So we're gonna put this on here and we're gonna run all of these through our machine. Here we go. Let me get this closed up and out of the way. Okay, here's where the fun begins. Now, I've already die cut several spiders. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to use, but look at how cute this is. The spider body is actually embossed, so it's got a little design on it. I hope you can see that in the camera. And I've got a couple more over here. You're gonna need three or four little spiders to do this project. Let me put all these out of the way. First thing we're gonna do is that little box. Now the nice thing about the little box is it's all scored for you. So there's not a lot of thought that needs to go into this. You're just going to take all of your layers and fold on the score lines. When you tip these in the light, you can see them better. Sometimes it's hard to see the score lines when you're using a uh, pattern paper, like designer series paper. Okay, watch how easy this is. This little box goes together like this. There's some little tabs in there that we're gonna do, and then you just put it together just like that. Look at how stinking cute that is, right? Okay. I like to use mini glue dots for this because I just found, I thought it was just easier to work with. So I'm gonna take a mini glue dot. There's a little slit right here and I'm just gonna put my mini glue dot right there next to that slit. You're going to pull this little tab in, slide it right into the slot, line these two up, push it down and it's gonna stick. Mini glue dots are really super sticky, so you don't have to worry about your projects falling apart, and that's why I really kind of like them. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one right here. Oops. And again, I'm gonna take that tab and slide it into the slot that's already cut for us. Line that up, make sure that it's, you know, even and straight. That's it, okay? Super easy, right? You could make a gazillion of these. These would be great for um, kids or grandkids, classroom little treats for any occasion. I can see Halloween, Christmas, fall, you could put a little leaf on the front of this, Valentine's Day, Easter, birthday, just about anything. A little gift for the teacher. This would be a perfect little gift for a teacher or a coworker, you do Secret Santa at work or something like that, that would be fun too. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that rich Razzleberry scallop circle and I'm gonna grab that little ha happy, happy Halloween again and stamp that right on here. Look at how sweet that is. I love the font on this. Let me see if I can get some more light in here. Here we go. Okay, so we've got that going on. I'm going to add black dimensionals to the back. And I'm gonna put one at the top here, one at the bottom. And now we're gonna add a couple little spiders. So here's where our little fun little spiders come in. And again, I'm just gonna use some mini glue dots because that's just gonna be easier to handle. I'm gonna put one right on the head of my spider and we're going to bring that right in here. Now I don't want his legs to cover up the words so that's why I'm kind of being careful. Look at how cute that is. And next we're going to take this one and I'm going to curl up a mini glue dot again and I'm going to put it right on the body of my spider right there. I love using my take your pick tool for this because it just gives you um, some flexibility when you're handling little things like this. How fun is that? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pop 
pop these back soft. These are our black dimensionals, by the way. You get um, a sheet of regular size and mini dimensionals in a pack. So those are pretty nice. I'm going to take my little spider layer here and put it right on the front of my box. Isn't that cute? And then... We've got these iridescent pearls. These are so pretty, and I thought these would look really fun on my spiders. So I'm just gonna pop one on each little spider here, press it down good so it doesn't come off. Look at that, that's a great little embellishment. I'm bringing in my glittered organdy ribbon. This is beautiful, and it's perfect for all your Halloween card ideas, scrapbook pages, little treat favors like this. I'm just going to put it through the slots that are here, trim it off, and then we've also got this fabulous Baker's Twine, black and white. Now this comes in a combo pack. It's called Playful Pets. You get some red stitched ribbon and also the black and white Baker's Twine. And I'm just going to take this and tie a piece around my ribbon to secure the top. Oh, before we do that, how about a dark chocolate sea salt caramel by Ghirardelli? We're going to put that inside our box before we tie it. And I don't know anybody who isn't going to like to get that. Unless you don't like dark chocolate. Do you guys like dark chocolate or milk chocolate? I love dark chocolate. And the only milk chocolate that I really like is Hershey's. So I always say that I'm kind of a trailer trash Hershey's chocolate girl. Because <laughs> I like me some just plain old Hershey's. I'm not into the... Um, Gourmet chocolates, but I do love dark chocolate in gourmet chocolate. I don't know. It's a weird thing. Maybe. <gasps> Look how cute that is. Stinking adorable, right? You saw how simple this was. Now, I've got one more little project to share with you. And we're going to bring in one of our rectangle tins. You get four of these rectangle tins in a box when you order them. These are the nicest little tins, really good quality. And what I did here is I took that same bat designer series paper and I've got four pieces here. These are all two and a half by three and seven eighths. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna stack two of them together at a time. I'm gonna bring in my detailed trio punch. This is a um, corner punch. So it does a rounded corner. It'll give you an oval hole for ribbon or this little decorative element on the end that's really cute. We're going to punch the corners on all of these. And I'm doing them two at a time just because you can. This is designer paper. It's a little bit thinner than cardstock and why not do double duty on them. I've never tried doing more than two layers, so if you want to try that, be my guest. You might be able to tell me if that works, but I'm not going to take a chance because I know how much we like pamper and don't want to mess up our designer paper, right? So I've got four pieces here with all the corners rounded. Now the nice thing about the detailed trio punch is that the corner rounder perfectly matches our little boxes. So now what I'm going to do, whoops, I'm going to leave this in here so I can use it for gluing. You could have, well, do we want, I don't, I don't know, do we want a flowered box or do we want a bat box? Hmm. I'm going to go with the bat box. I'm going to stick with my original idea, but you could use either side. I'm going to take some of our stamp and seal. This is really nice tape runner. And I like to just flick it a little bit. Oops, let's set that aside. I don't want to get that stuck on anything. I'm going to do two of these at a time. So I'm flicking it. And again, this is called Stamp and Seal. This is a Stampin' Up! tape runner. It's really nice and sticky. 
and I'm going to do my little layer right here. There we go. Do you see how those corners match up? We're going to do a layer on the back. I see I've got a little tape sticking over the side here. I'm just going to fold that under. There we go. Whoops, I didn't do very good on that. Hang on. There we go. I got that one a little crooked. That looks better. And then I thought, as long as we're doing this, why not put some on the inside? Now, you don't need to get too crazy. Should we do the, no, I'm gonna do the bats. I'm gonna stick with the bats. I'm just gonna put a little piece on. And drop this right down in here. Fits in there perfectly. This is gonna fit in there perfectly, just like that. Isn't that cute? Now, with this rich raspberry piece, I thought, hmm, this could make a nice little belly band. And so I gave it a try to see if it would fit around here and guess what I found out. It does. So I was pretty happy about that. So I'm just gonna cut those two edges off and now I'm going to, oh, we've got some little bits to pick out here. I should have gotten out my um, die brush adapter, but I'm being a little bit lazy and it's only a few little, little dots. Aren't these scalloped edges so cute with the holes in them? And we've got that stitching on the edge too that is of course very popular right now. Okay, I'm gonna open this up to make sure I know what I'm doing here. Do you wanna know what I'm gonna put in my little tin? Well, I was at a store in Michigan not too long ago and I found the ghoulish gumballs. And I thought this would be such a fun little treat and I think I'll probably give this to my little Miss Molly. Isn't that cute? That's gonna be, a, she's gonna love this. Absolutely love it. Okay, now we're gonna put our belly band on. And all I did was kind of set this in here and eyeball it to, to center it and pull it around. There we go. And isn't that cute that it meets in the middle like that? I thought this was gonna be really fun. Then remember, the label that we stamped and die cut, we're gonna put this on here. I'm gonna grab some of my ribbon and we're gonna add this to our little belly band closure. Oops, there we go. Now I want this to be long enough to tie a nice little bow on here. I love this ribbon with the glitter in it. And it's just like spectacular. Okay, let's pull this down a little bit. It kind of reminds me of a little corset, doesn't it? And then that reminds me of, what is that Halloween? Oh, I'm trying to think, what is that Halloween? with the witch that wears the corset. There's a Hocus Pocus. There we go, Hocus Pocus. Super cute. Now I'm going to take that, remember we had three spiders. This is one of our other spiders. I'm going to add a little mini glue dot. And again, I'm just kind of curling it up here. And I'm gonna put that right over here on the edge of that little tag and attach my spider. And again, I don't want my spider to cover up my words. So this is kind of perfect. As long as we've got these iridescent pearls, we're gonna use them because they're super cute. And then I'm gonna attach this to my belly band. Look, I just went, this is my second roll that I've used of this Baker's Twine. I love it. I'm just gonna add a little piece through here and we're gonna attach this to our belly band so that when Molly gets ready to open this little treat, 
she's just going to slide this belly band off and open it up. And then if she wants to, she could put some different treats in it and share it with a friend, right? She could give the friend also a little gift. But I think Molly's probably going to want to keep this one because it's so adorable. If you guys don't know who Molly is, she's one of my grandkids. She likes to come over and stamp with me. Look at how cute that is. What do you guys think? Is that not just adorable? Okay, I've got a couple more here that I made. Wanted to share with you. Here is another little Ghirardelli holder or any type of candy that'll fit in there, really. And I use the same Magic in This Night paper, but I use Gorgeous Grape instead of Rich Razzleberry. And can you tell the Rich Razzleberry matches my shirt, my, my little sweatshirt today? So I picked that out pretty good, right? And then here is another one where I used the floral paper for my little tin. Everything else is the same on here. What a great little gift set. So one of these, the gumballs right here, is going to Molly. Um, I have a friend that I'm having lunch with this week, and I think she would absolutely love one of these. So I'll give her a little Ghirardelli candy and maybe a Starbucks gift card. I know she loves coffee, so maybe I'll get her a little $5 Starbucks gift card. That'll fit in here perfectly. I happen to have a Christmas gift card here. These are perfect little gift card holders. So these tins, like I said, you get four in a pack. They're called just rectangle tins. They come packaged up really nice so that there's not going to be scratches or anything on them. And you'll find those in my online store. And those are my projects for today. Now, don't forget, this is part of a blog hop, you guys. So you're going to see a link right up here. When you click on that, that's going to take you to my blog where you're going to look for these projects. And then there's going to be a link that you can click on to go to the next blog. I think there are nine of us doing spectacular treats today. And remember, even if Halloween isn't your thing, these ideas, minus the spiders and the bats, of course, can be used for any type of occasion. The little treat bundle in the holiday mini catalog is available until I think January 3rd or 4th is when um, that catalog retires. So you saw how easy these were. Yeah, perfect. Now, if you'd like to order anything that I've shown you here today, this is my current host code. You're going to find an online ordering button right on my blog, www.estampabub.com. I always appreciate your orders. If you're new to Stampin' Up, you don't have a Stampin' Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business and send you the current catalogs. They are gorgeous. Just pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com and I would be happy to get those in the mail to you. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Make sure you click here, head over to my blog to see what everybody else made for their spectacular treat ideas. Bye-bye.